Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Creative Crochet with Rhonda. And would you like to see some budget yarn I bought? It was yarn on sale. I can't wait to show it to you. Come and take a look. Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Rhonda. And I'm all about buying yarn that's on sale because I love yarn. And if I were to buy yarn that was regular price, I probably wouldn't have as much. So I do enjoy buying yarn on sale. And this is interesting because I have a friend who's currently traveling and she actually sent me an email from Uruguay and she said, oh, look, I got this email of yarn on sale. And I told her she's a troublemaker because really I have a room full of yarn and I probably don't need more yarn. Well, I know I don't, but hey, we crocheters and you knitters out there, you can never have too much because the more yarn you have, the more possibilities and it really lends to your creativity when you have options. So she told me about a store here in Toronto, Ontario, so I'm in Canada, um, called Lens Mill. And she said there's a coupon in the flyer this week that the yarn is 75% off the lowest price. And I thought, I don't know what's going to be left because it was two days into the sale. I thought, but you know what? I'll take a look. So I did go to Lens Mill. Unfortunately, I just wasn't thinking I would have done a video for you and I just forgot because it's always fun to see other people's shopping experiences. So I'm sorry about that. But I did buy some yarn. There wasn't a lot to choose from, but I do like what I got and I really didn't want to spend a lot of money. I spent about $50 Canadian after, after tax all this yarn which I'd say is really really a good value so I'm going to talk to you about it and I'm going to talk to you about discontinued yarn and should you buy discontinued yarn what are the pros and cons of it I will tell you that this yarn is now discontinued the sales girl came and made sure that I was aware of that because if you don't buy enough and you want to make something, it's not like you can go back and buy more. So that is the issue with discontinued yarn. Now, before I show you the yarn, I will talk about this idea of buying discontinued yarn. So obviously discontinued yarn has been around for a while, which can be a good thing because if you're not sure if a yarn is going to be a good yarn or a bad yarn, it gives you a chance to see reviews from the past. And it could be a couple years or more of people who have used the yarn and find out if they liked it or didn't. And that helps you decide whether you would like to buy the yarn or not. I recently bought, if you didn't see the video, I bought yarn that was practically vintage and I'm gonna give you the link so you can take a look. And the yarn is perfectly fine. You'll always get yarn like rolling over and new things all the time, but really colors, fabrics, type the type of materials, there's always yarn you can use and it's basically what you're making with it. Yarn is yarn. So this way, when you buy discontinued yarn, it's been around a while, you can see if people had a good experience with it or not and it helps you decide whether to buy it because it's already been proven one way or the other. That's one of the positives. One of the negatives is of course depends how much yarn is available. I did see some poor lonely yarn skeins there was maybe one or two and it doesn't give you a lot of options if you're only going to make a hat or a cowl then by all means buy it but just be aware that you can't go back to get more it's discontinued. So you need to know that you're, you're going to make something with the yarn that you have and there are no options for getting more. That being said, when you go and buy any yarn, there, as you know, there are lot numbers, dye lots. And once that dye lot is complete, even if the yarn is still 
being made, it could be a different dye lot. So it may not be the yarns discontinued, but the dye lot has changed. And therefore, you're still stuck with the same situation that you can't go back afterwards. Because if you find the same yarn, it may be a little off in color if the dye lot isn't the same. So therefore, whether the yarn is discontinued or not, you still may have the same problem. Now, of course, what isn't good about getting a good deal? So discontinued yarn, they're trying to get rid of it. And you could be the lucky recipient. If there's enough there, you pick it all up, make sure the dye lot is the same on all of your skeins so that you can make a good project and you will have that yarn. So you can get a fabulous price. Like I got these for 75% off the lowest ticketed price. So it may have already been marked down, which means I got a really good value on this yarn. I mean, you saw the yarn, $50 after tax. That's really good. So let's take a look at what I got. So the first yarn is Red Heart and the price on it is $8.99. So I, oh, actually it's not $8.99. That's the orange tag. The yellow tag was $8.09 and I paid 25% of that. So $2 for a skein of yarn. And this is the heat wave yarn, which is supposed to heat up. Now what I do when I buy yarns that have been around for a while, I tend to go and look at reviews and it has a pretty good review. Um, when it first came out, it was considered overpriced for what it was, a little bit gimmicky, but for $2, you can't go wrong. And I did hear that actually the yarn does work to a certain extent to be, to create a specific amount of heat. Somebody tried it for uh, a dog sweater and they had regular yarn on one dog and this yarn on another. And she did notice that one dog, the dog with the heat wave yarn, it was warmer. So why not? I really liked this color that I chose. This one is called Seaweed. And I really love the shade of green. The, I don't love all greens, but I do like this green. Now this yarn is considered heat generating yarn. Like I said, that's what it's called. And um, sunlight activated even on cloudy days okay so i let my cat in she was meowing she's always going in and out of the room got my reading glasses so i can tell you a little bit more about this yarn this yarn is made in the usa of imported fibers and it is a 100 percent acrylic yarn and it's machine washable and dryable it says, do not microwave or expose to high frequencies, which means probably not good for things in the kitchen like hot plates that might end up in the microwave. I can't think of a reason why I would put my yarn in the microwave, but, you know, maybe it could happen. Um, and 100% acrylic. This is three and a half ounce, 100 grams, 198 yards. And I'm not sure if you're going to be interested or not in this yarn because, like I said, it's discontinued. You may already have some in your stash or you may find some on websites like Amazon, eBay, or maybe in your local thrift shop. Um, somebody could be selling it secondhand. So it's always good to know what a yarn and $2 that I spent was great. So I bought one, two, three, I'm pretty sure I bought six, four, five, and six. So it is considered a four weight yarn. So I'll talk a little bit more about it. I'd say that's pretty accurate and it calls for five and a half millimeter crochet hook, five millimeter knitting needles if you knit. What I heard about this yarn in the reviews was that it's not very soft, but honestly, I don't find it all that rough. And I'm not sure if maybe 
It depends on the color of the yarn because I've had some yarn that certain dyes are rougher than others. I don't know if you've had that experience, but this one feels not that rough to me. I really don't know what the complaint is or maybe this one was made a little bit later because this yarn has been out for a while. So maybe the earlier yarns were rough and they improved on them. Honestly, I find this pretty comfortable. So I would not hesitate to use it for a scarf or a hat. I think it'd be really pretty. So that's that yarn. Okay, so the next yarn that I picked up was this Patton's or Peyton's Shetland Chunky. Look at that pretty shade of brown. And this is considered a five, a bulky five weight yarn. Really nice yarn, a little bit scratchy. And that might be the wool content in this yarn. It is 75% acrylic and 25% wool. So it might be the wool content that's making it a bit scratchy. So if you are sensitive to wool, you may not like it against your skin. But the color is beautiful. This color is called Earthy Brown. So nice. Here instructions on reverse side of label. I don't like when they do that, but there are symbols and it looks like it's washable. There are the symbols there. It does look like it's washable. Usually you see a hand if it's hand wash. And it is calling for six millimeter um, knitting needles and six millimeter crochet hook. So this yarn is made in Turkey and it is 100 grams, three and a half ounces and approximately 136 meters or 148 yards. And look at the yellow ticket price. Can you see that? $6 and 11 cents each. And I got 75% off. So we're looking at like a $1.50, $1.50, three or four, like really, really inexpensive for this yarn. And it is a nice yarn. So I bought the solid brown. I believe I bought four or five. I can't remember. Oh, I bought six of the earthy brown. And then for the same price, I got the chunky, the Peyton's Shetland Chunky Tweeds. And look at that. So pretty. I thought I could even use these together. They're a little bit different, but not so different. I mean, with this lighting, they're a little more different, but not so different that you can't possibly use them together. So this one, the orange ticket was $6.79 and getting it for a, around a dollar fifty that's really good so this one is 72 percent acrylic 25 percent wool three percent viscose so i'm guessing the tweed is the viscose and looking at the little pieces um they don't come off some come off a little easier than others but you know it's really not too bad and this is also care instructions on the back, but again, it looks like that it is machine washable. And of course, you know, no iron, no dry, probably lay flat to dry. Um, also calls same yarn, except for it's tweed. So six millimeter knitting needles, six millimeter crochet hook, also a number five. And also, let's see if it's made in Turkey. I'm imagining it is made in Turkey. So I bought six of those as well. So I'm thinking with the 12 of them, actually, no, I may have not bought. I think I only bought, okay. I only bought four of the tweeds, but even still, this one is also, I believe it's three ounces, 85 grams, approximately 125 yards. So it's a little bit less than this one. This one is approximately 136 versus 125, pretty close, but with 10 of them, I could probably make something pretty substantial and really nice color. Even if they were hats and scarves, it could be for men, women, really nice shade of brown. 
finally, I bought this yarn. Let me see if I can clear this up so it's not all over the place. Okay, so finally, I bought this Peyton's Alpaca Blend yarn in this beautiful pink. Um, it is a roving style, and I really, really like it. It's a little bit fuzzy. I haven't worked with it, um, but regular price $8.99. And the yellow ticket price eight oh nine, so basically two dollars a skein. This yarn is a net weight of three and a half ounces or a hundred grams, approximately one hundred and fifty five yards. I bought ten of them because I really thought I'd make a nice sweater, and I figured ten will be enough to make a nice sweater. It is sixty percent acrylic, twenty. 2% wool, 10% nylon, 8% alpaca. So they call it alpaca blend and there's 8% alpaca. I think that's a little bit, um, I don't want to say deceptive, but you know, when you hear alpaca blend, you think you're going to get more alpaca in it, I guess. But the price was right. And this yarn, this color is peony. I didn't tell you what color the tweed was in case you like it and you could find it somewhere. Um, this one is called earthy brown tweed. So it's considered the same color, but with tweed, I wouldn't say it's exact, but close enough. And this one being peony as the color. And this one is made in Romania. I don't think I've ever had yarn yet that was made in Romania. Um, and there are some free yarn inspiration patterns and this calls for a six millimeter crochet hook, six millimeter knitting needles and this one is hand wash. I can see the symbols. You probably can't see them. They're really tiny but this one is definitely hand wash um, but that's okay. I That never bothers me because Sometimes I would prefer doing hand washing when I work so hard on a, on a project. I would hate to throw it in the washing machine and have it come out fuzzy or I just want to take better care of it because I appreciate how much work I put into it. And hopefully those who I gift my items to will feel the same way. Uh, and that's about it with this yarn. It is a yarn inspirations yarn. Um, I, I just love the color. I would love to see a sweater in this. And there's a date on this to 2017. Um, it looks like it might be August, 2017. I did check the dye lots and they are the same. That's really important. If you are buying yarn that is discontinued, that's something that you should definitely keep in mind. If you are using the yarn skeins together, Make sure you look at that dye lot because you don't want to bring it home with the hope of making a blanket or a sweater, like a bigger type of project, and find out that it's different dye lot and you can notice the color change, the color difference. So that's something to keep in mind when you are buying yarn on sale. But I am all for getting yarn on sale. I'm all for getting discontinued yarn if you can find enough of it. If there's a small amount of it and you love it and you could make a small project with it, go for it. Because really all the new yarns that come out, they're just variations on the yarns that have been around. And it's like having a unique yarn because it's not readily available anymore. So you'll have a project that doesn't look similar to everybody else's, I guess, because people perhaps they're buying yarns that are new because it's always exciting to try new yarns but there's something to be said about discontinued yarns some of them hard to get some people are really needing the yarns that are discontinued because they go back to them like they'll have them in their stash and realize they don't have enough and try to look for them so there is some value to discontinued yarns budget yarns yarn on sale and we're all most of us have a bit of a budget. Let me take these off. Most of us have a bit of a budget anyways, especially when you're buying a lot. So if you can find a good sale, don't hesitate to get discontinued yarn. Just make sure that you know that the yarn is discontinued. You can't get any more of it and take a look at those dye lot numbers. 
that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was helpful. And I hope that you have some yarn with you and you have a project, you have something on your hook right now. And if you don't, get busy and get crocheting. Take care. Have a great day. See you later. Bye for now. Bye.